Ooh, look at that. Bustelo, give me a brand deal. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Hello, you guys. So, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, we're filming on a new camera today. Meech got me a new, really, really, really nice camera. Macho, I swear to God. You're looking at me because you know what I'm going to say. You're looking at me because you'd be like, mom's gonna say that I'm always click clacking around whenever she hits record. And you would be right, sir. Can you please go somewhere or sit down, please? Love you the most. Um, me got me a really, 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 really nice camera that shoots in 4K. Not really sure if this is gonna be in 4K. I don't know how to work it yet. Um, but if it isn't, the next ones will be. I'll figure it out. But today we're in my sunroom again. It's not as sunny as it usually is because it's fall, ladies and gentlemen. You see this outfit? This is like when it's fall, but you're still not over the neon trend. Like this is the kind of thing you wear. This is from Pr Pretty Little Thing, by the way. I did a haul about it like ooh, a long time ago. Um, but yeah, today's video is just a laid back, chill little favorites video because I haven't done one in a while. Also, if you're wondering why my phone is sitting right here and I'm, I like keep looking at it, it's because I like there's no viewfinder, there's no flip up viewfinder on this camera, so I have to like look at myself on the um on my phone because that's an option that it has which is <laughs> perfect a one love it but yeah these are the flowers that each got got me for our anniversary they're super pretty love them they're kind of dying but they look yeah like this rose is pretty sad let's, let's perk up for the camera people thank you also still rocking my curls i did like a new thing today and i really really like it um but yeah anyway let's jump into favorites because favorites videos always end up being super duper long and i'm trying to edit this and upload it within like an hour so let's get to it a lot of makeup favorites that i've mentioned to you guys already but like this is like what makes it official this is like this is the official super ashley 127 stamp of approval if it's in a favorites video kiss number one lashes they're what i'm wearing right now they're what i've been wearing in like all of my videos in the past month they're just beautiful like honestly i am a very wispy feathery long fluttery lash kind of girl i don't like spiky lashes i don't like really heavy lashes not the biggest fan of mink lashes i want my false lashes to feel and look like i have some pretty like long but natural lash extensions. That's the lash look I'm going for. Will I ever actually get lash extensions? We'll see, probably not, I don't know. But the Kiss Number One gives me that exact look. Like they're just so fluttery and flirty and they just like enhance your eyes without being too much. And I love them. I got this five pack from Ulta, but you can probably get them on Amazon, Target, wherever they sell Kiss lashes, they'll probably sell this five pack. And they're the number zero one and they're perfect. I also really like the number 13, but the zero one is just a little bit longer, but either way, the Kiss lashes, they hold up. Like the pair I have on right now, I've only worn, this is like second time wearing them, but the, the pair before this, I wore like five times. And the only reason I switched to a new pair is be I lost one so they last a really long time don't ever throw out your lashes after one use you can always save them and use them again as long as you peel off the glue you're good so don't ever get rid of your lashes after one use okay foundation okay you guys know I did a video on it the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation ever since I did that video I've been wearing this like non-stop it's even too dark for me now so I've started to mix it with other foundations in my collection that are lighter to make it match me because the finish on this is just gorgeous like it gives you perfect full coverage it smooths out your skin so like it says it all in the name airbrush flawless is the exact kind of finish you're going to get it wears really really well it's not too matte it's not too dewy like it's the perfect in between kind of set and natural finish it's just beautiful like the bottle and the packaging is gorgeous like this is the kind of thing you want to sit on your vanity and like display to people it's just beautiful oh i actually meant to bring I meant to bring the powder from my purse to show you guys too. That's another favorite of mine. But the combo between this and the, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder, they're amazing. I'm going to link that one down below because I don't have it right now. And I, I'm too lazy to get up right now. But that definitely is a favorite. Love it. Perfect. It's like the perfect touch-up powder. It's the perfect setting your face powder. It's just a great powder all around. They only have like three shades of that, but I find that they're really versatile. Me and Christine both use the shade medium and Christine is much, much darker than me. So I feel like you could just get away with it. Somehow it like matches everybody. It's 
it's like sisterhood of the traveling powder or something that's really good it'll be linked down below with the rest of the stuff but this foundation i know it's pricey i know charlotte tilbury is a pricey brand but if you're looking to splurge on yourself you want a really good new foundation maybe it's your birthday maybe you just want to treat yourself girl i'm always an advocate for that airbrush flawless by charlotte tilbury i feel like you guys are gonna love it if you're a fan of foundations like i am like full coverage long wearing like just beat to the gods kind of foundation this is a go-to so i really like it speaking of long wearing foundation you guys i know i just tried this like the other day but i am so impressed with this milk hydro grip primer i only got the mini i know i'm gonna go through this so so quickly because i really feel like it makes a huge difference in the way my makeup like wears throughout the day like you put it on and it's almost like tacky like your skin almost feels like sticky but not in like a gross way like in a way that makes you think your makeup's gonna like cling on to it like and it does it really really does and I, it doesn't really cling like it doesn't feel like one of those like silicone-y like pore filling primers but it weirdly like smooths your whole face out really really well yeah i don't i don't know what kind of magic is in this shit i'm not the biggest fan of milk makeup as a brand well although i haven't really tried much of their stuff so maybe i need to give them a second chance but i don't know like i heard all the hype i wasn't really believing the hype but now i'm in it i'm on the bandwagon this shit is good so if you're like me and you were a little skeptical go get the mini i think it was like 13 dollars I feel like $13 isn't that big of a commitment to hopefully find your new favorite primer. Like, this stuff is really good. I'm really into it, and I know I'm going to go through this really quickly. Like, I've been using it every single day, except for today. I didn't put it on because it's already, like, 5 o'clock, and I don't need my makeup to last. And I didn't want to waste it because I have the mini. But every day that I need my makeup to last, like, longer than 4 hours, this is what I've been going to because it really has been making my makeup, like, cling onto it. And I love it. I really do. Speaking of stuff, I mean, honestly, half of the stuff in my favorites today is like stuff that I tried out for the first time in that video. I will link it for you guys to see it because I didn't get very many views, but I didn't expect it to, but I will link it for you guys to see it. But this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I also got the mini of this in Sephora. I got the shade 3.5 and I fucking love this brow pencil. Like it's very similar in shape to the Brow Wiz, but the formula is a little more pigmented th than the Brow Wiz. And I'm only, I'm comparing it to the Brow Wiz because that's my favorite brow product, but I stopped buying it because the spoolies kept breaking and like, I'm not about to spend $21 on a brow pencil if you're just gonna break on me. like. I'm just not. I heard really great things about this and I was like, eh, I don't know. Like I stopped buying brow wigs. I don't really feel like spending that much money on a brow product, which I found like really good, like drugstore dupes, like drugstore stuff that I really like. But I have to say this blows all of that shit out of the water. Like obviously I can get good brows with the drugstore stuff I have and I really do love those products. But I feel like this just takes it to the next level. You can definitely tell between the packaging and the formula, you can definitely tell the quality is upped from a drugstore product. And the shade is perfect for me, 3.5. It's like the perfect brown that's not too warm and not too cool. And like the perfect shade that actually matches my brow hairs. Like, ooh, it's good. Okay, do you remember in my decluttering video when I found my Pat McGrath mascara? Well, because I found it, I wanted to mention it in my favorite video because oh my god like i was so scared that i was going to try it again and it was going to be like it wasn't as good as i remembered it but no bitch this stuff is almost even better than i remembered it i wear lashes all the time now like it's a rare day that i do my makeup and i don't put on a fake pair of lashes because if i'm doing it's i'm either all or nothing i mean they're bare face bare minimum like you're not getting nothing but maybe a chapstick on me or I'm full beat glam. So the days, the rare days that I'm like, you know what, actually, you're only going to the grocery store. You're only going to sit on your mother's couch. There's no reason you need to waste a pair of fake lashes. Like, it's just not that serious. This is, this is the closest thing I'm gonna get to a fake pair of lashes in a mascara. It's just, it makes your lashes look so good. It makes them so nice and long, it makes them so nice and volumized, but no clumps. Like. It gives you that perfect level of like clumping to thicken, but not clumping to clump. Does that make sense? Like even at this point, like the Lash Paradise, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, the um, any other mascara really, it clumps, 
a little too much compared to this. Like, love those mascaras, but compared to this, this shits on all of them. Like, I know it's pricey, like, just like the Charlotte Tilbury, but oh my god, you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference with a product like this, like the brush. I don't know. I don't know. Pat McGrath is a magician. Like, this is just the best mascara of all time. I'm, I said it. It's the best mascara of all time. And I am so happy I found it because I'm not about to spend that money again. Whew. I'll show you my little bronzing and contouring duo. I've been using this for months, months, like, I would say like a month and a half, two months. Now, the Fenty Island Ting bronzer, I mean the Fenty bronzer, but the shade I use is Island Ting. And it's just a beautiful shade. It's a little bit more orangey, like warm toned, but I like that in a bronzer. I don't know, I like, I feel like a bronzer is meant to warm up your skin. It might be a little too, too orange. This shade specifically might be a little bit too orange red toned for some people, but I think it looks beautiful on the skin and it blends out really, really nicely. And it's like the perfect amount of pigment. It's not too pigmented where you like go overboard, but it does like show up immediately. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I first got this, I was like not that impressed by it. So I like kind of put it to the side, didn't use it as much. And then I broke it back out like maybe two months ago. And I was like, oh, I kind of like you again. Where have you been? In my fucking makeup drawer, me ignoring it. But I do really like this. So I bronze with this first with my little duo fiber brush. You know, you guys know the deal. And then I'll go in with this Tardis Pro Glow to Go palette. And these highlighters, they're okay. Nothing to rave about. But this chisel shade, I really, really like as a contour shade. It is pretty dark, so you do have to use a light hand if you're my complexion. If you're darker than me, a medium skin tone, you can go all the way up to like a NC45 to contour. It's a really good contour shade. It really blends out nicely. Like the formula on it is really nice. And I've been into the bronzing and the contouring thing. I've also been contouring my nose. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But I'll just wait for my mom to clock me in the comments because she always likes to judge my nose contour. Mom, let me know, how is it today? I think I did actually a really good job today. I think I say so myself. I really, really love the chisel shade and I'm actually in the market for a contour powder that's just a contour powder. Like I'm tired of having a whole contour palette or like a contour and highlight thing. I'm never gonna use a powder highlight, like a matte powder highlighter. So I just want like a one pan single thing. I just want a single pan of contour powder, not bronzer, contour. So if you guys have any suggestions of just like a single pan contour shade, please leave it down in the comments because I even went to Sephora and I was just like, I don't know what the fuck to get. Like, what am I, like, I either, I was like, I can get, like, a foundation powder shade, but I feel like they're not going to be cool toned enough for, like, a contour, because nobody's going to make, like, a grayish brown powder. So, yeah, if you have any, like, contour, single hand contour recommendations, let a girl know. Okay, we can talk about some blush. This is limited edition, but I feel like... Honestly, no, I don't know if you can still get this, but it is a favorite of mine. I've been using it a lot. Wet n Wild sent me their Pac-Man collection like months ago. And because my studio was a mess, I like forgot it existed. And then I broke broke it out like mm, two weeks ago and, or two, like three weeks ago now, actually. And I saw that, that they had a blush palette in there. Didn't even remember that. And it's actually beautiful. Like Wet n Wild does blushes really well. And these two shades right here are my jam. Today I have them on mix but both of them separately are really nice. These two colors are beautiful too. I'm just like more, I'm, I'm like this kind of girl, like more neutral blushes, bright blushes, not really my thing. Um, but the formula is really nice, like a great amount of pigment, like not too pigmented where you're like gotta do like a really light hand, but like good amount of pigment that it like, you're not building it up forever. And they mix really well. They look really beautiful on the skin. This one has like a little bit of a shimmer, which is nice, but not too much because too shimmery of a blush, I always feel like looks muddy on my cheeks. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I feel like anytime there's like a lot of shimmer and blush, my cheeks look ugly. Is that something? Is that a thing? I don't know. But yeah, the Pac Man High Score Blush Palette, really love this. But White Mob blushes in general, if you can't find this, any of their blushes, just find the shade you like. They do blushes really well and for a really great price. So, love it. Urban Decay, I'm gonna thank you once again for that amazing PR package because I've rediscovered. <laughs> the all-nighter setting spray, you guys. Like, I've used it every setting spray, I feel like every setting spray on the market, and like, they're all great, but I never really feel like they do much. Like, they do a lot to like, melt my makeup in my skin, make it look nicer, like, do all that, but I don't feel like any of them actually make my makeup last longer until I started using this again. Like, 
Damn, Urban Decay, like the OG is still doing it right. Like, wow, this stuff really, really helps your makeup. Like between this and the Hydro Grip Primer, this, uh, my makeup has been like impenetrable, like so good. I can do my makeup at like 8 a.m. and go out the whole day and maybe have to touch up once. Like the only thing I really have to touch up is like my lips and that's it, which is incredible. Like th that combo and that foundation, like, the whole thing, it's just a dream. So I feel like everybody knows what this product is, but nobody's like, if you forgot about it, you're never gonna go back to it, you know? Like everybody loves the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, which I love too, but like nothing is gonna keep your makeup on like this setting spray is. And then I'm really, really, really impressed with this Naked Honey palette. Oh my God. Like I don't remember, like Urban Decay shadow palettes were never this good. Like this is the best they've ever done it because these things blend like a dream. They're really nicely pigmented. They're, it's a great shade selection. Like this is a great palette for like any kind of makeup user, whether you're like a makeup beginner or you love, love, love makeup, like you're a makeup stan. I feel like everybody will love this. Everybody will get used out of all of these shades. And it's just beautiful. I love it. I really, really love it. And I'm so highly impressed with the formula and the packaging is beautiful. Just everything about this, like this is my new favorite eyeshadow palette which says a lot because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And then the last makeup product, and then we have three little like life products. This is another oldie but goodie, Jordana Coco Loco. This is a lip liner I used to use literally every day of my life and then it ran out. And for some reason I never bought it again. I don't know why. It's so weird because I love it so much. But when I went to Primark last week or the week before when I did that video, I picked this up and I've been using it ever since that day non-stop. It's a really dark brown and it's really nice and pigmented, but it blends out so easily and it's not very long wearing, so you can get away with it. Like, it's a really dark brown when you first put it on, you're like, oh shit, we're back in the 90s with the dark lip liner and the fucking concealer nude lips. But it blends out to be like a soft, like rosy brown. And then you put whatever nude on top of it or even just a clear gloss on top of it. And it's just like this is my perfect lip liner I kind of wish it wore like I wish it was just as blendable but wore longer because it doesn't wear as long like this is a lip liner if you're committing to this for the day you gotta carry it around with you which it's not that bad it's just a little pencil but like I wish it had the same blendability because it blends out so nicely and it like fades down to like the perfect rosy brown color but wore longer that's what I wish, but I am willing to do deal with it because this is my favorite. This is probably my favorite lip liner of all time. Okay, so I've got coffee faves. Okay, you guys know I love my Nespresso, but like sometimes, like when you're just like born and raised on Bustelo, like sometimes a Nespresso is not cutting it. And lately, my Nespresso is not cutting it. It's just... I think it's because of going back to hot coffee season. Coffee from the Nespresso as an iced coffee is fine, love it, because iced coffee I always feel like is like better when it's not as strong. But when you want some good hot coffee, get yourself some Bustelo. And I have my uh, Greca, which in my last video I called it a Pilong, it's a Greca. Um, my mom always called it the coffee pot though, so like I never really knew the Spanish word. But it's a Greca, it's like, it's basically like those stovetop Italian espresso makers. If you want, I can include it in like my next video, like how I make my coffee. But it's basically like in the bottom, you put the water and then there's like a little thing that sits in the bottom of the water. And you like, it's like a little filter thing and you put the Bustelo in it and then you screw on the top and it like comes up. It's just, it's the, this is the best coffee of all time. It's very, very strong. Like it is, it's espresso. It's not, it's, it's espresso. If you don't like strong coffee, don't drink this. But it is still delicious. So maybe still drink it. Maybe just have like half a shot of espresso or something. But I can drink, I'm, 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 not, I'm not kidding you when I say like I was born and raised on this. So I can drink this at 10 p.m. and still go to sleep within the hour. Like it doesn't really phase me. I don't think any coffee phases me because I was born and raised on this. But it's still delicious and it's still part of my morning routine because it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just have to wake up and drink coffee. You can get this at like any grocery store. I can't imagine that there's anywhere in America that doesn't sell this anymore. It's not very expensive and it's just that, like you're gonna smell it and be like, oh shit, I want that cup of coffee. Ooh, look at that. Bustelo, give me a brand deal. And to make it like fancy at home, like I can drink Bustelo the way my mom makes it, just like milk and sugar. But to spice it up a little, I've been using this Tarani sugar free French vanilla syrup. I just got this at, um, 
Target, but I love, oh my God, my favorite thing, like other than the pumpkin cream cold brew right now, which I need to find like a pumpkin, like a pumpkin syrup so I can make a pumpkin cream cold brew or just like a pumpkin cream Bustello at home because oh my God, I'm delicious. I'm about to go to Target right now and find a pumpkin syrup. Um, but you know to spice it up I just love ice like I just love vanilla lattes they're like my favorite kind of latte so I got sugar-free vanilla syrup and this plus this plus oat milk is the jam like oh my god I actually have some coffee left over because I have the big get I now so I have some coffee left over I'm about to have me another cup right after this so I can get to editing <laughs> okay yeah but this combo right here this is all you need this is all of your coffee needs right here Ladies and gentlemen, Tarani sugar-free vanilla so you don't get those calories. Bustelo, Agreca, you're good. My last favorite of the day is AirPods. They're on my keys. I got this cute little keychain from Amazon. You just like slip your AirPods in here. It's got a little fuzzy ball so you can keep them on your keys, which by the way, I lost my keys for a solid three weeks. So I didn't know where they were. They were in my makeup kit for my gig. Amazing. My AirPods are amazing. Like I know people make fun of people with AirPods because they think they're like, I mean, it's like a running joke that people with AirPods think they're better than other people, but honestly, like, they're amazing. Like, <laughs> I always thought AirPods I would like lose immediately, but when you have that little case, like, you take such good care of them, and like, they're just so good. Like, at the gym, big bulky headphones, I'm over it. When I'm editing in the house and Meech is around, and I don't want him to hear me say the same thing four times over while I'm editing, it. AirPods. The rare times, like once a week, that I take train to the city. AirPods. I'm really big into podcasts right now, really big into audiobooks right now. Not really big into music at the moment. Not really ever listening to music at all. But Crime Junkies podcast and Audible audiobooks. This is not sponsored. I'm waiting for them to hit me up though. Um, AirPods is the way. So I know they're expensive. I feel like I've said that for a lot of products in this video. <laughs> I know they're expensive but they're better than any other headphone you're gonna get your hands on, if, especially if you're an Apple user, like, they're just great. The case charges them. You only have to charge the case like once. I haven't charged this case in like three weeks, I'm not kidding you. I mean, if you use them every day, they'll probably be like once a week or something. But like, they plug in right down here, same, same charger as your iPhone. Like, it's just so easy and convenient and amazing. And, and get a little case like this so you don't lose them. You just keep them on your keys and you always know where they are, you know? Anyway, you guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys even care about favorites videos anymore? Do people still watch them? I have no idea. Uh, but I still like making them. I feel like they're like they're like the YouTuber cop out. Like when you don't know what else to film, you film a favorites video, which is kind of what I'm doing today. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we have some fashion try on hauls coming soon, or or one fashion try on haul coming soon, probably next week. I want to do a cooking video. I was thinking of showing you guys how to make rice and beans and really just the beans part because I make my rice in a rice cooker. So let me know if you are interested in that or any other recipes you want to see me do. My studio makeover video is coming soon. I just gotta get my mom over here to help me paint because she has like the spray gun, like the airbrush paint thing. And I'm just gonna make her do it. She was like, I can teach you. I was like, for me that's what moms are for right other than that uh i'm not gonna decorate my house for fall so sorry about it I'm not getting that kind of video for me you will get one for christmas but like i just feel like i'm not in the mood to decorate for fall if in a month i'm gonna have to change it for christmas don't worry i'll decorate early for christmas so that'll be coming too um but other than that let me know down in the comments what your favorites are let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me also if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button 60 percent of you are not subscribed to my channel and i need that to change so just hit the button we're all friends here i'm not threatening you but no. <laughs> if you are subscribed share this video with one of your friends share it with your sister your mom your best friend your brother don't share it with your brother unless your brother's gay otherwise i don't think he would be very entertained um but share it with your friends let's get the word out let's get me popping love you so much <laughs> but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye